Russian forces have retaken control of several settlements and villages in its western Kursk region from Ukraine, Russian military bloggers reported on Friday. Russians have made advances in Glushevskoy and Koronevsky districts of the Kursk region. About 1,500 Ukrainian troops have been reportedly encircled in Olgovka village in Kursk as a result of Russian advances. According to reports, in the past 24 hours, Russians drew Ukrainians out of settlements of Lubomovka, Sheptakovka, Leonidovo and Mykolovka in Kursk region. By morning, the Russian armed forces retook the village of Novoivanovka in Sudzansky district. In addition, Russians took Medvez High village in Glushevskoy district and also drove Ukrainian troops out of the adjacent forest belts. In Glushkovsky district near Vesiloy village, Russians pushed Ukrainians back to the railway and approached the outskirts of Novi Put settlement. Several Russian regiments, including Akhmachechnya regiment almost completely drove out Ukrainian forces from Kursk region's Glushkovsky district, telegram channels claimed. Ukrainian forces remain only in the ravine south of Krasnuktyabrsky and in Novi Put settlement, as well as a small triangle with forest belts south of the railway. Russians also advanced in Koronevsky district of Kursk region, taking control of small village named Zeliany Slyak, as well as settlements of Pokrovsky and Nizinki Klin. Scattered Ukrainian troops remain in Olgovka and Kremyany villages, according to some sources. Fighting also continues in Sudzansky district where Russian forces are advancing and have progressed in Plakovo area. Village of Plakovo in Sudzansky have been partially taken by Russians. Russians have also reportedly taken control of a large forest in the region. According to preliminary information, Highway 38N, 515 in the Plakovo-Maknovka section has already been cut off and Russians captured several strongholds including those created by Ukrainians. Russians are also advancing in small villages of Kalmakov and Agronom in Sudzinsky district along the railway in the area. According to Russian reports, Ukrainian drone strike own military equipment by mistake. The Russian Defense Ministry has not commented on reported capture of villages and settlements in Kursk. In its briefing on Friday, the ministry said Ukrainian attacks on Kursk region were thwarted. During one of the forum meetings, the member of the Vakovna Rada of Ukraine, co-head of the Interfactional Deputy Association for the Decolonization of Russia, Ole Dunda, expressed an opinion that the war with Russia cannot be won only on the territory of Ukraine. The Ukrainian deputy also stated that the armed forces of Ukraine should enter the territory of Belarus. What is behind this statement? The Charter 97 media outlet talked about this with the head of the Ukrainian Center for Belarusian Communications, Maxim Plechko. He said that Ole Dunda's statement is a real atomic bomb in the Russian and Belarusian media. Everything is clear with the Russian one. They do not want to lose their colony under hybrid occupation through Lukashenko. And why was there such an effect in the Belarusian information field? Because there is a demand for this idea. Ole Dunda said what hundreds of thousands of Belarusians are talking about. He said that Belarusian volunteers dream of. They waited two and a half years for this statement. That is why there was such a strong reaction. Let's summarize. First, we cannot say that this is a statement by an authorized Ukrainian official. Ole Dunda is a member, a politician. He can afford some free thinking. However, he is a deputy of the ruling party, servant of the people. Therefore, the first conclusion is that there is a demand for this idea. It lives in the minds of thousands of people. It is discussed in kitchens, Maxim Plechko added. Maxim Plechko recalled that Ole Dunda also says that Ukraine does not need an occupation operation. Belarusian volunteers and the opposition should take part in it. This is absolutely part of the Ukrainian strategy and vision of the situation in Belarus. I constantly say that Ukraine's strategic interest is a free Belarusian nation in allied relations with the Ukrainians.
The second conclusion is that this will help the Belarusian people in liberating the country. Let me emphasize that we are talking about theoretical scenarios. Is it possible today? Unlikely. With the right strategic preparation, it is quite possible. If we talk about the Ukrainian expert community, then this is one of the scenarios that is being discussed. There is an option that Lukashenko will somehow voluntarily make concessions. The second option is force. These models are being discussed. Maxim Plechko added, Will Putin protect Lukashenko in this situation? Putin cannot protect himself. The operation of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kursk region shows this. Lukashenko understands this and he is nervous. As for Ukraine, it is interested in stability on the northern border. However, there are forces and means to respond to certain challenges and provocations. Maxim Plechko said, 